Okay, we are live. Hello, everybody. And Sarah is here for her first live launch with her business. So this is very exciting. Hi, Hi everyone. Hi. <laughs> we had a few different, a uh, few technical issues, but we managed to get them solved in like seven minutes. So that's record <laughs> record time for getting problems solved. Um, so, yeah, Sarah did really well. She coped under pressure. So you guys are all here to support Sarah launching her brand new business. So I'm not going to talk for long because really you want to hear from the wonderful Sarah. I just want you guys to know, one, thank you so much for showing up and supporting her with her business. If she'd bought a coffee shop franchise and had a grand opening on the high street, you know, with a beautiful ribbon on the front, I'm sure you would be there to watch her cut the ribbon. Whether you're interested in coffee or not is completely irrelevant. It's just about being there and supporting your friends. So her online franchise has been bought um, and it's online. So we can't have an in-person launch. So it's all being done online. So imagine she's got a giant, beautiful red ribbon and we're going to be cutting it today the second thing i just wanted to say is we are doing a giveaway so somebody is going to win a full-sized product and how you can win that is by having your name put into the hat by commenting how you know Sarah. So just put it in the comments, like how you know her, how you met, how your friends, and let us know whether you are gonna support Sarah as a one, a two, or a three. And we're gonna go into that more in a moment. So my first question, Sarah, because I'm gonna be interviewing you for your launch, is tell us what you did before you started your Arbon business. Um, well, um, I did costume before um, I had a career change so I did that at university and then did a few different things work for Disney Cruise Line and while I was there I liked the wigs and that, that all that side of it so when I came back home um, I did a, a grease paint course in London which is a film and TV um, makeup course all like kind of historical makeup and bridal makeup and film and all sorts of different things and I really enjoyed it so I did uh, a little bit on film here and there my most two the two random jobs that I did on that was um, I worked for on Doctor Who on a night shoot in the middle of a forest in like Cardiff I think it was in a cave um, I randomly knew uh, Matt Smith from working with him at the Royal Exchange and uh, bumped into him at like the tea cart kind of thing and he was like yeah I said oh I, I, I know you and he was like oh god right okay well <laughs> he did remember me in the in the end but I was just you know a costume person but anyway that was my exciting bit and I also did um uh Madame Two Swords where I um inserted one hair at a time into the waxwork so I've had a I've had a lucrative and varied career so um I did that for a bit and then I struggled to find more work in film so I came back up north and decided to do a, a barbering men's hair cutting course because they want people who can do men's grooming on um on set say because they want you to do the makeup and they want to trim the beards and keep the hair exactly the same if you want like um, a film that was set on the same day, then for six months that person needs exactly the same haircut. So that was my um, uh, kind of reason why I came back up north to do that. So I've been cutting hair for 10 years now and I've had my children in between that. And it's got to the point where I am a single mother with two children under five and I've got to the point where I do love cutting hair, but I want something to give me a little bit of oomph and I want to have a zest for life again and just have something exciting to look forward to and put all of my skills that I've my kind of gained over the years into something that I can do different things and and keep I like to be entertained you know like I like to have different things to do so this would be probably up my street so uh so yeah that's a little bit of my background oh yeah I love that that is so interesting as well Sarah so much that I could just sit here and listen to you for hours really fascinating <laughs> so tell me how you heard about Arbonne how did that even enter your world so um with the varied um career that I've had my best friend Abby we've known each other from primary school I've always come to her with different things like uh, you know I'm going to be on a game show she's like oh right okay, I want to watch you on that and <laughs> I've got a caravan that I've made into a barbershop which I'm going to go and do festivals and all of this stuff and so I've told her all about all these ventures and then um you know she's she's always kind of su she supported me but always been a bit like oh what are we doing now so when Abby told me about this I thought hang on this is role reversal here shouldn't this be me doing this to you like I don't so she like it was a couple of months and I kept saying you know she knows that I will do these types of stuff I was just like this is such like a a role reversal couldn't get my head around it and then started having the protein shakes and a few bits of stuff and I've changed quite a, a few bits of 
how I how I, I eat my children do and I've just had my makeup delivered now and I'm just in love with it all it is amazing I, I literally can't stop talking about it it's great so so yeah that's one of the reasons why I've started because I trust my best friend with my life basically <laughs> so yeah that's- Absolutely. And what I love about the makeup, I mean, Arbonne's got like over 500 products. So there's something for everybody, but I love that the makeup is used like on the X Factor. It's used on like um, so many of the film sets, you know, it's such great quality makeup. And for me, I went from using what I thought was a popular high street brand but, and accepting that makeup just slides off your face and just thinking, oh, that is just the way that it is to yeah. having used the album products and being like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. Like, oh my, this actually works. It actually does what it yeah. says it's gonna do, yeah. which I love. Um, so what are some of your favorite products so far that you've used? So I like quite a lot of things. Um, so I basically am in love with the makeup primer. Um, I, I put it on a couple, of, a couple of days ago and I'm blown away. I literally cannot stop talking about my family, to my family about it. And then the makeup, um, the eye makeup primer. Like I, the first time I used it, I just used every color in that palette and just kept loading it on, loading it on, trying every different color. And normally like they would just pile up and you'd have a massive crease, but it just, it just stayed and it, and, it, and it blended really nice and it, and it just it gives you this ability to just keep like kind of adding and changing and stuff and it's not making it like it just it just it's a buildable product I've never actually experienced anything that that builds so well so like even with the blusher the, the really light blusher that came I thought oh that's not going to really show up but you just you build it up instead of having something that's too dark for you you just have something really light and you build it up to what you actually want and the um the texture uh, the the pomade that came through and I've just had it on my little boy this morning and I have not had any product on him ever because he's two and you don't want to put product on a two-year-old because you think well I'm gonna have to wash his hair tonight and I just thought well so I put this on him and it's and that's buildable as well which is why they've obviously called it a pomade so you can make it into a pomade by keep adding to it and it's it's more like a, a texture fiber gum if it was just used as a little bit but it's amazing I'm like I just can't wait to try more I just love it all it's great no oh, I know and do you know what I'll, I'll tell you guys a little bit about my experience with Arbonne I'd, I'd never heard of Arbonne I've, I've been with I've had my Arbonne business for six years now but pre that I'd never heard of it my background was working in ophthalmology, so I worked for Specsavers Opticians, loved what I did, thought that I'd retire there, and put in many years for Specsavers, and then my youngest daughter had a stroke and a brain hemorrhage, it came completely out of the blue, like didn't see it come in, and I ended up taking a year off work to be with her in hospital, like, I lived with her, and after that year, my boss basically said to me, look Danny, are you coming back to work, what, what's going on, and I had to make the really difficult decision to say that I wasn't able to return back to work, and as a family, there was me and my husband and our two daughters, it financially destroyed us, because my husband was working extra hours, but he'd then been diagnosed with an autoimmune, which just made him suffer, like just working normal hours makes somebody with an autoimmune, you know, tired, let alone working overtime, and we got into so much debt I actually went on to benefits in the end I'm so grateful for the government support but it wasn't where I wanted to stay so I was actively looking for something to build something that I could like roll my sleeves up and get to work and I came across Arbonne from a really really old friend she basically said to me it's like an online franchise and I understood franchises because of spec savers she said basically like you buy your rights to your own business and it's your business but you've got like this umbrella company over you and with spec savers I was like that makes sense but spec savers is like 200,000 pounds or like half a million pounds I was like how much is this and she said oh it's 30 pounds and when she told me 30 pounds my jaw hit the floor because I was like 30 pounds like that's it she's like yeah that's your website and you just pay an annual subscription which is 25 pounds after 12 months time and I was like oh my gosh I could do this and she said yeah it's just recommending products like you use the products yourself and you tell people what you think and so my first experience was the children's range I'll tell you guys this story about while we're talking about products so when I when I went on and got my business as a consultant, Sarah and I, we get um, like a perk and that is being able to shop at a really big discount. So, uh, so at cost. So I went onto the website and I wanted to get the kids hair and body wash because both my kids had really bad skin, like red, raw, itchy skin. I'd have like GP creams on them. It didn't work. Tried everything. No success. Went onto the website and they had this kids hair and body wash. It was about this big. 
and I think it was about 15 pounds, which for me was a lot of money. Like it might not be for some of you, but it certainly was for me. I was used to spending one pound a week on like kids hair and body wash from the high street. So I said to, I rang up my friend and I was like, oh, I'm really concerned. Like I really want to buy these products, but they're just really out of my price range. And I was like, I understand that they're good value for money. I get that. I'm not disputing that, but I just can't afford it. And my friend said to me, if it works, if you buy the kids' hair and body wash and it works, it gets rid of your kids' like red, raw, itchy skin, is it worth it? And I didn't even hesitate. I was like, yeah, like anyone that's a parent is like, yeah, if, if something is a solution, money's no object. And she said to me, if it doesn't work, all the products have got a 45 day money back guarantee. So you can send it back and get a full refund. And I was like, if, if a company believes in their products that much, like there's, it's, there's something in this. So I bought the 15 pounds kids hair and body wash. I've got two children and it lasted me nearly six months. So actually when I looked back, it saved me money because I was paying one pound a week for a bottle of hair and body wash. And then you times that by however many weeks is in six months. Was that like 26 weeks? Not to mention the, the damage to the environment on consistently going through all these bottles that I, I was like, oh my gosh, like these products are amazing. Like a dot is a lot. They actually work. Like they, my kids' skin had cleared up within four days. I was blown away and I've never stopped being blown away over the last six years at the products and the innovation behind Arbon. It's just, just amazing. So my next question, Sarah is yeah. when you were looking at, at doing Arbon for yourself, did you have any like fears, any hesitations, anything that you were like, oh, I'm just not really sure. And if you did, how have you overcome them? Um, well, I think it was like the time. First of all, I said to Abby, I was like, well, how much do I have to put into it? Because I don't want to put a lot of money into something like this. And then it was the time I was like, well, I don't think I've got any extra time. I've got to try and do this mobile barbering business that I've got to put into. And um, I ended up only really signing on, it, signing, signing it as it, um, an independent consultant just so that I could go on and order what I needed without having to go through our base. So I thought, well, I'll do it that way. And then she said like, oh, she was like sending me these messages saying, oh, you, it looks, it looks great. You should really get involved with this. And I thought, you know, what the heck, like if this means that I don't have to drop my children off at eight o'clock in the morning to go and do a, a, an eight hour shift and then to, to pick them up at six because of like the times that you have to get to work and stuff. And I thought they're doing a 10 hour um, shift at school and nursery and and quite regularly and I think like it's and then the nursery are telling me like what they've done I'm thinking I'm not even seeing my children I'm bringing them home and putting them straight to bed and so when it, Abby told me about this I thought I don't have the extra time to put into this but if it meant that I don't have to do that in the future say five years I don't have to be dropping them off for like four days a week at 10 hours a day because it's a long time for them to to, to be away from you I suppose and, and to be in that environment with other people bringing them up so yeah that's my kind of incentive for giving this a go because I've got nothing to lose really yeah and do you know what time was definitely something for me I like so similar to you I was really busy I was living in hospital and I did there was no spare time that definitely definitely didn't I didn't wander around thinking I've got all this spare time what should I do <laughs> there was none of that but for me every job that I looked at having required like if I worked an hour I got paid an hour like when I worked for spec savers I worked 40 hours a week I got paid for 40 hours when I started looking at our barn I was like actually you can get you not straight away granted but you can build the business so that you're getting paid like 24 7 and i'll be really honest with you all my first paycheck with our barn four people bought the kids hair and body wash based on my my recommendation and i got paid my first paycheck was 12 pound 50 like absolutely nothing to shout about i actually was dead chuffed but my husband <laughs> thought it was hilarious but i knew i i knew what was going to happen because those four mums used the kids hair and body wash and one of them told her neighbor about it. The neighbor yeah. went to my website, ordered the products on my website. You know, we don't take any money. We don't deliver anything. It's all done online. And yeah. I got paid a percentage from, from her order. And I, I didn't know her. And then she went to work and told a work colleague and they went on to my website and ordered and I got paid. And I think my next paycheck was 25 pounds. And it, but it kept growing, it kept growing. And, and within a year, like my goal for, um, my 12 month goal with Arbon was to come off benefits and be earning 2000 pounds a month. And that's exactly where I got to within, um, within 12 months, I was earning over 2000 pounds a month. And what I had was about a thousand different people all, all over the globe, like UK, Australia, New Zealand, Canada, America, Poland, that were logging onto my website because it had been shared from person to person to person. <laughs> was logging onto my website and, and doing that online shopping. And so 
for me, and I know Sarah, you'll be the same. You don't work an hour and get paid an hour in our barn. You you do the work once. You do a good job helping somebody with their with their shopping and giving them advice and recommendations. But if they love the products and the service, they're going to tell all their friends, and everybody knows a hundred people that you don't know. So from one person that you do the work with, that opens up the gates to a hundred people that then opens up the gates to another hundred, to another hundred. So yes, it takes time, not disputing that, but you get to the point where you go to bed at night and you open up your app on your phone because you've got your, with the website, you get an app on your phone and it's done however much in sales. You go to sleep 12 hours. Well, not if you're a mom, you don't get 12 hours sleep if you're a parent. (laughs) You wake up and your business is done like, I don't know, a couple of thousand pounds of sales in the night because of the other side of the globe. Like this yeah. business is, is phenomenal. And for me, it was about, I need to make the time to make this work because this yeah. has got so much potential. Oh, if I put the effort in, I was like, if I go all in for a year, I know that I, I, the business is then built. And don't get me wrong, I, I haven't stepped back. I'm still active. But yeah. if I was to take like a year or two off, my business is going to continue. Whereas at Specsavers, if I didn't work, I didn't get paid. Whereas in our barn, once you've done the work, you get paid time and time again, which is amazing. Yeah. So, yeah. so um, a couple more questions then, Sarah. So one of, one of my goals was to earn £2,000 a month within a year. Everybody's goals are different. What, what is it that you want from this? What, what are you most excited about with this business? Um, I, I don't really think I'm thinking about the earning potential at the minute. At the, at, for what it's... From, from doing like the hell side of it with with Abby's it's just given me such a boost and I've been in a really dark place for the last six months um and it's just bringing me out uh, if I can see the light if you know what I mean and now with the makeup side of it I can imagine myself doing these trials and I I love the makeup so much that I'm just going to want to, them to have like just to buy it off me or to to tell them about it anyway so I'm not really thinking about it I'm just thinking that I want that excitement back and I have it again and I I am actually looking forward to booking weddings next year and doing all of that and if it earns me money then then that's all the better but at the minute I'm just glad to have my spark back and me I suppose it's just getting myself back so yeah I love that I absolutely love that so one more question as we start to wrap up um so first of all everybody that's on here supporting Sarah thank you so much don't forget to comment how you know Sarah so that your name gets entered into a um into a hat to win a full-size product but also comment whether you are one two or three so I'm going to tell you what they are and then I'm going to ask Sarah one more question. So if you've listened to this and thought, oh my gosh, Sarah, this sounds like so much fun. I absolutely need to get involved with something like that. That's great. Like we can welcome you into the team, myself, Sarah, we've got Lindsay, we've got Abby, you've got so many people that would help support you with your business. So if you want to do this as well, then comment that you are number one, or you can say, I think I'm number one, I've got some questions and we can answer them at a later date, later on tonight or tomorrow. So if that's you, number one. If you have listened to this and thought, actually, I could really do if we find some really good products like botanical base, kosher, gluten-free, no animal testing, all vegan, like if this like floats your boat, then you are a number two. So just comment, I'm a number two. Um, I've got some questions. There's definitely things that I'm running out of, mascara, shampoo. I want to try some energy, healthy energy drinks, vitamins, um, sun cream. There's so much to choose from. So if that's you, just comment you're a two. If neither of those are for you, that's absolutely fine. There is a third way that you can support Sarah. And that is what we call a cheerleader. So this is somebody that just says to Sarah on a regular basis, hey, Sarah, how's your business? Um, Can I um, do a testimony for you? Can I do like a little 15 minute online Facebook party for you? I'll gather some friends and 